Good afternoon and welcome to Take Action News with David Schuster. This is executive producer Daniel Marins in the host chair this hour. As usual, it is a beautiful Saturday, May 4th, here in Anacostia at We Act Radio Studios where we produce Take Action News. I want to give a big shout out to all of our listeners and viewers across the country, but we're going to give a shout out specifically to the folks listening to us in Chicago's Progressive Talk in Chicago, Ohio's Progressive Talk in Columbus, and of course across the country on TakeActionNews.com and watching our live YouTube feed on youtube.com slash TakeActionNewsTV. We have an incredible hour ahead of you, and as always on Take Action News, we're taking you through the week's events and telling you how you can take action to influence outcomes. We are going to be hosting an extremely contentious debate in the second half of this hour between on the issue of abortion and abortion rights, particularly in light of the trial of Dr. Kerman Gosnell, an abortion doctor accused of of performing illegal abortions in in the third term, which are illegal in Pennsylvania, as well as, in fact, killing uh, fetuses live that that, that emerged. Does that have any actual implications for the abortion debate? We're going to be hearing from Lila Rose on on the sort of anti-abortion side. She's the director of live action. And Aaron Mattson, the editor-at-large of RH Reality Check, they're going to be duking it out over abortion. You're not going to want to miss that. But first... President Obama announced this week that he was renewing his push to close the detention facility in Guantanamo Bay, where the United States still imprisons 166 inmates without normal charges, a trial, uh, and due process of law. The United States at this point has determined that 86 of those people are cleared for transfer to other facilities because they pose no security risk of any kind or outside or, or to be freed in, in the country. But right now, there are nearly 100 prisoners that have captured the world's attention by engaging on, at this point, a weeks-long hunger strike. Several of those prisoners are now being forcibly fed through feeding tubes because the Obama administration believes that it does not want them to die, or, or, so, or so they claim. Joining me now to discuss this issue, a person who has been fighting for the rights of these inmates and for due process at, uh, on all parts of the United States and any prisoners that we take in, is... Zachary Katz Nelson, he's a senior staff attorney for the American Civil Liberties Union's National Security Division. Zach, thanks so much for joining us. Thanks very much for having me. Zach, let's cut to the chase here. There are now 100 people on hunger strike in Guantanamo Bay. The United States government is forcibly feeding dozens of them. You believe that's wrong. Why? I do believe that's wrong. I, I think, first and foremost, the reason for the hunger strike is what our attention should be focused on. It's the fact that people, these men, believe that they're going to be held in Guantanamo until the day they die. And many of the men on hunger strike, as you mentioned in your lead-in, have been cleared for release. The United States unanimously, every single U.S. security and intelligence agency got together, investigated every single case, and decided that 86 of the men in Guantanamo could be released without any harm to U.S. national security. Many of those men are on hunger strike. Now, that decision was made back in 2009. It's now 2013, and the men still sit in prison cells. So uh, the men are on strike because it's fundamentally wrong to hold people indefinitely, without charge, without trial, and particularly, even more egregiously, when no one even believes they're a a threat to the United States. 